Hello everybody, and this is my first video for our introductory class. Um, last class, I noticed that some of you had some trouble with trackpads on laptops. So tonight I'm going to do a little demo for you guys on how to use a laptop trackpad and why you should always assume left click instead of right click. Now, here is a normal mouse. You have your left click and your right click. Of course, I have some extra buttons here, but you can ignore those, and your scroll wheel. Now, here we have some laptops. Here's your trackpad. Left click, right click. Here's an example of the Chromebooks we use in class. These don't have a very obvious left and right side, like this laptop does. See, it has the line in the middle. And then I'll show you this laptop, which actually has two physical buttons for left and right. These make it a little easier to know whether you're left clicking or right clicking like a normal mouse, but on the Chromebook, as you can see, there is no line. But it works in the same fashion. Basically, clicking on the right hand, uh, left hand side will cause a left click action, just like if you click the left button of your mouse. The right side will tap to do a right click anywhere in the center of the pad is just for moving the mouse. So, during our class I mentioned that you always want to left click unless otherwise specified. On our Chromebooks it didn't really seem to matter much because if I left clicked nothing, this, something would happen and if I right click the same thing would happen. So it didn't really seem to make a difference, but I think that's only because we were on Chromebooks. As you can see, if I move over to the Windows machine and I left click on the screen, I get one action, but if I right click, I get a menu. This is one major difference that you'll notice between the Chromebooks and your laptops at home. If you use a PC, right click will open a menu. It won't actually perform an action. So if I wanted to open up Google Chrome, I'd have to double click it with the left mouse. However, if I were to try the same action with right clicking, it would open a menu instead. So this is not what we want. Often, you only right click if you want to modify something or perform an action that would, you normally would not do with a left click. So when in doubt, always left click. Once again, your mouse, you have left and right. This corresponds to left and right on your trackpad, and left and right on the Chrome trackpad. Also, just remember, when you move your hand across this part of your trackpad, unlike the original trackpads, which have two separate buttons that did not correspond to mouse movement, newer trackpads, like the Chromebook, this whole area can be used to move the mouse, as you can see. So when you move the mouse, you can move your finger anywhere on the trackpad. But to click, you can't just click on the top corners. They are not actually buttons. But when you click on the left side or the right side, you should feel a physical button click and potentially hear it if the room is quiet enough. So just remember, always left click unless it, unless it's specified that you need to right click or unless you need to open a menu. Always left click. Thanks and have a good night.